Well, good morning, McHenry County. It's the day after Veterans Day, and we are in John, at Johnsburg Junior High. And who's who do we have with us here today? My name is Andy Reinhardt. I'm a Hello. science teacher here at Johnsburg. Hello, Andy. And we hear that your school building here has a rather unique feature. What's what are we looking at above your head here? Right behind me is a photovoltaic system that uh, was installed here about two years ago. The school itself has about uh, 1,000 watts here that is provided with the system. We have six 185 watt panels. They were provided with a grant from BP, British Petroleum, um, also with the Johnsburg Parent Teacher Organization. And these provide real electricity for our schools, so this feeds into our school's electric grid. About how many homes per year do you think these solar panels will be able to supply? The amount of electricity that it provides is enough to provide power for about 15 homes. Um, total throughout the year. Our school uses a lot more electricity than that, but some of our power uh, is made by these panels. If you go to IllinoisSolarSchools.org, you can find other uh, information on how your school can set up a, their own photovoltaic system as well as grant opportunities. All right, we've moved indoors for part two of this presentation. This is the real secret maker for this whole solar system. What do we have inside this room? This is where the electricity from those panels actually comes into our school's electric grid. So it comes in right through this pipe into a disconnect. This is the inverter that changes it from direct current to um, alternating current, which is a big physics concept in science, uh, direct current and alternating current. And if you look, it just shows right now the date, and then it'll switch to how much watts are actually being made. Um, and I actually should be able to switch that. We're making 216 volts right 216 now. 216 volts. Um, Not bad for a November day. No. And that's, if you look at the amperage too, that goes up to about 300 something watts. And we peak out at about 1,000 watts with this system. Mm -hmm. It also goes into the school's main electric grid right there. So we add power to the school. Um, it is also monitored online so students can look at any time of the day, week, month, year of exactly how much power the panels are making. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is just a partial power source for the school. How many of these panels will we need for the whole build? The students estimate anywhere between 100 and 300 more systems just like this. And we do have space on the roof for it. It would just be very upfront cost would be very high. <laughs> this is uh, the hydrogen fuel cell uh, slash solar car. So this is the solar panel. And it has to run off one of these lights, which schools may or may not have. Incandescent light bulbs work just fine. And then these wires make hydrogen and oxygen, split apart water, splitting apart distilled water. So once you split it apart, hydrogen is, is power. And then you can disconnect this and put it on the car, and the car actually runs around and you can make it turn and students have lots of fun. Then you can also take just the panel and put it on there and make a solar car. So it's kind of two different things you can do. Um, the hydrogen car, once you've made enough hydrogen, like so, or the solar car. You said around 100. Yeah, no problem. No problem.